take the world's number one automotive engineering and design team. Give them a clean sheet of paper and tell them to make an elegant, distinctive, quiet, strong, safe car. When the car is finished, turn it over to you, the world's number one sales team, to open up with the 1969 Chevrolet. Here is the 1969 Chevrolet Impala Custom Coupe, typical of a new Chevrolet look for 1969 that unquestionably combines the best in engineering and design excellence. A great car, embodying distinctive elegance in a completely new body to give the 1969 Chevrolet an exacting sculptured look. A great car, embodying high luxury interiors. New fabrics and new colors complement and enrich the 1969 Chevrolet. For 1969, there are 11 passenger car models in the Caprice, Impala, Bel Air, and Biscayne series. You have a balanced lineup of four-door regular and sport sedans, two-door sedans, two-door sport coupes, custom coupes, and the Impala convertible. The first eye-catching impression of the new Chevrolets is the luxury big car feeling captured with the subtle teardrop effect around the wheels, the sweep of the belt line, the full door glass styling for all full-size Chevrolets, and improved astro ventilation as standard equipment to reduce wind noise and deliver greater riding comfort and quietness at highway speeds. Up front, the all-new Chevrolet grille is a polymeric hydrocarbon with high impact qualities. Other pluses, it allows greater styling freedom, eliminates rust and corrosion for long-lasting beauty. There's also greater protection in Chevrolet's new single-unit loop front bumper. Designed for great strength and rigidity, the bumper completely surrounds the grill and horizontally mounted headlamps. And... Only Chevrolet offers a choice of two distinctive coupe roof stylings. There's nothing to match the formal roof line and rear quarter treatment of the Impala Custom Coupe and Caprice Coupe. To conform to the elegance of the formal roof line, a concave rear window provides exceptional vision. A rear deck configuration carried forward through the packet shelf area completes the high style effect. There's a new look out the rear window of four-door Impala and Caprice sports sedans, too. A new convex rear window with a V'd appearance lends added model identification. The newness in the 69 Chevrolet is designed to build an even greater buyer demand for the world's most popular motor car. The all-new rear bumper is a smart two-piece design with rectangular tail lamps. Caprice and Impala have a triple arrangement of tail and backup lamps. Bel Air and Biscayne have dual rear lamps. More Chevrolet styling distinctiveness is offered with color. In 1969, Chevrolet offers 15 colors, 12 completely new. Also available this year are six new two-tone combinations. And Chevrolet's exterior newness is matched by interior newness. Chevrolet places great value in the functional comfort and convenience which concerns your prospects the most. Like the convenience of the completely new Chevrolet instrument panel. All instruments and controls are grouped in the cluster control panel in front of the driver for easier reading and operation. Even the radio is positioned at the driver's fingertips. The radio and heater controls flank the steering column where the driver can reach them without having to stretch. The new anti-theft ignition, steering, and transmission lock, a GM exclusive, is mounted on the steering column to give your owners greater security. There's also a larger head on the ignition key for easier operation. Style and safety with new two-spoke steering wheels that bear specific series identification. New trims and fabrics lend dynamic color and smart good taste to every 1969 Chevrolet. Ten interior vinyl or cloth trim colors designed to harmonize or contrast with all the exterior colors are available. There are exquisite, yet durable, caprice interiors, like this new gold brocade. 
and these new easy to clean nylon knits in three rich colors. One glance at the Chevrolet interiors for 1969 and it's obvious that the number one selling automobile is out to stay number one. We're calling it the Golden Chassis for 1969. The Chevrolet Golden Chassis. Built on the finest frame in the industry, the 1969 Chevrolet Chassis is a culmination of engineering excellence that gives you a golden opportunity for selling the quiet ride of Chevrolet. Golden improvements like new front and rear springs, selected by computer for more precise control of car trim height. Optional equipment can add up to 300 extra pounds and consequently affect the handling. Computer selected springs compensate for the extra weight to give consistent handling characteristics and longer spring life. Golden improvements for quietness throughout the car. The quietness story here is the use of double cushion mounts to attach the front end sheet metal. Next, there are golden improvements for handling and stability with the steering linkage pivot points modified for improved steering response on cars not equipped with power steering. Next, there's a new variable ratio power steering option available for all Impala and Caprice models. In straight ahead driving or through slight turns, handling is comparable to regular power steering. The big advantage is in sharp rapid turns and in tight parking situations. The steering ratio decreases for nearly effortless steering response, with steering wheel turns reduced nearly one full turn. A golden chassis extra is the single piston floating caliper design front wheel disc brake option for 1969. Virtually fade free, disc brakes remain effective through the most adverse driving conditions. Now, your prospects can't see all the golden chassis improvements, but they can and will appreciate the golden chassis improvements that speak for themselves in test rides. The new Chevrolet is 1969's great performance car because it's built from top to bottom, end to end, with the best materials available. Engine blocks and components are the highest quality in the industry, superior to those used in the highest priced automobiles. And for all the 1969 Chevrolets, open up power, performance, and a comfortable silent ride go hand in hand. Relocation of engine accessories and increased insulation, tune out noise and road vibration, and turn on prospects to carefree driving. Carefree driving with performance that packs a punch because Chevrolet engines now deliver increased horsepower and increased torque. Engines have cut down on their workload, but up their work output especially in the lower and intermediate speed ranges where most driving is done. The result? Quieter, more durable, long-lasting Chevrolet engines. Here's how they line up. For the economy-minded, there's a lineup of regular fuel engines untouched by any automobile manufacturer in the business. A 250 cubic inch L6 with air intake improvements to make it quieter than ever. The new base V8 engine is boosted to 327 cubic inches with 235 horsepower. Still regular fuel, a 350 cubic inch V8 at 255 horsepower. And for big regular fuel power, a 396 cubic inch V8 that develops 265 horsepower. Powerful savings are only part of the story. A 300 horsepower, 350 cubic inch V8 leads off Chevrolet's parade of premium fuel power plants. It's followed by the famous Porcupine Head 427 cubic inch V8 at 335 horsepower. And up for 69, a 427 V8 that thumps out 390 horsepower. Seven engines with quality, efficiency, and power make them the standard the others shoot for. And this year, they boast stronger blocks, thicker main bearing bulkheads, firmer crankshaft clampings, stronger accessory mounts, improved torque and power curves, all contributing to a new, higher standard of engine performance. And this year you have three-speed automatic transmission available with all Chevrolet 6 and V8 engines. Chevrolet again puts the customer first in power team choices. Additionally, there's a new heavy-duty three-speed manual transmission. 
You also have the standard three-speed manual, four-speed manual, power glide, and three-speed automatic for a combination of 24 power teams. The 1969 Chevrolet story is not complete until we check... The full-size Chevrolet walk-in wagon lineup for 1969. This year, Chevrolet station wagons had their own names. Kingswood Estate, Kingswood, Townsman, and Brookwood. Available in either two- or three-seat versions for all models but the Brookwood. Totally new, excitingly different. The elegant new Kingswood Estate is the glamour model, leading the parade of 1969 Chevrolet station wagons. An outstanding wagon with luxury features usually associated only with the Caprice, like optional hidden headlamps and distinctive grille. And all Chevrolet wagons share this surefire hit, a two-way tailgate for easier loading of cargo or passengers. Concealed hinges provide a sleek appearance. The sloped design of the rear end and a built-in bumper step formed in the upper section of the new one-piece bumper make stand-up entrances possible. Yes, Kingswood Estate, Kingswood, Townsman, and Brookwood. Stately names for our popular line of station wagons. Now, let's check. The SS-427, built for the man who knows and enjoys automobiles, a gentleman sports car. The big car leader of the Chevrolet Sports Department, the SS-427 option is offered for Impala Sport Coupe, Custom Coupe, and Convertible. Special exterior identification and trim marks the SS-427 as a car apart, one of a special breed, whose features include the muscle and brawn built for the genuine enthusiast. 390 horsepower, 427 Porcupine Head V8, heavy-duty suspension, special wide wheels and tires, a man's car, tough, built to take on all comers, all roads. It's a fitting front runner for... Every big Chevrolet for 69. Completely new styling, front, side, rear, and interior. Engineering excellence wed with superb comfort and quietness. Powered with the most reliable, best-built engines in the industry. A three-speed automatic transmission to team with all Chevrolet engines. Beautiful. Strong. Quiet. Safe. Chevrolet puts the customer first to help you stay on top with the world's number one sales team. Chevrolet's got it, and it's all yours to open up with Chevrolet in 1969. Now, here are some questions on the new Chevrolets.